It is time for our Friday virtual roadie roundup. Let's welcome our panel this morning. Comedian Doreen Collins joins us. Kristen Adamo from Go Providence and men's style expert Matt Simcoe. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Well. morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Okay, let's get to it. In a recent survey, survey by Get Your Guide, leading travel booking platform, Gen Z was found to be the most adventurous generation with more than half planning an international trip or something domestic. So we're not even talking about travel. We're talking about adventure. How adventurous are you? And what is the most adventurous thing that you have ever done? Doreen, I'm going to start with you. I went to Olneyville once. <laughs> There you go. It was life changing. <laughs> I bet it was. I bet it was. <laughs> no, I, I haven't been anywhere lately. I go to the kitchen to the living room, you right, know. Right. But has, uh, has there been Italy. anything like have, it, Italy? Okay. Italy. That, yeah. That's good. Christian, what about you? Anything adventurous that you have done? Yeah, so I'm really lucky. I'm in the Society of American Travel Writers, and so we get to go to weird places like i went to tequila which i thought was a mythical land like oz or disney <laughs> but it's real it's, it's really? a place which is very cool and there's men with machetes and they whack the cactuses and you get tequila it's magic wow but um the best one was iceland because they eat weird stuff so i was at a cocktail party and they were like would you like reindeer pate and i was like no <laughs> so i had fermented shark and I um, would not eat the puffin, because if you've ever seen a puffin, right, it's like eating, you know, Tweety Bird. So I was like, no. So I literally snuck out of the venue, went down the street, got a slice of pizza, came back and was like, I'd never left. That's so awesome. that's my adventure. It's weird eating. That's our Rhode Island girl. Had a, had a girl going for that pizza. Good, good job. Matt, what about you? Uh, I actually, I went to a dude ranch a couple of years ago, uh, where we went to a rodeo and, uh, we went on the airboats and skeet shooting and the, the whole thing. I wore cowboy boots the whole time. Okay. So this past week we were talking about music, um, and artists and songs that, uh, that changed us and create some sort of, uh, of a moment. Do you, uh, remember the first record or CD that you bought that you just had to have? Matt? Uh, it was Spice Girls Wannabe. Uh, 25 years ago, exactly. It is the anniversary right now. So uh, I just remember it was like weird and cool and loud and different. Uh, and that kind of like set me on like my love of like pop music uh, sure. that some people think is kind of like disposable. But 25 years later, we're still talking about the Spice Girls and Wannabe. So I think it was a kind of a cultural moment. Absolutely. Kristen. So when I was like five or six, my grandmother got me um, the Donnie Marie Osmond album. And I just thought that was like the cool, Marie Osmond was like the coolest thing. Cause she had that like TV show where she wore like one really high boot and one really short boot. And I was like, that's fashion. And there were like, for some reason, bizarre ice dancers. And um, she was a little bit country. He was a little bit rock and roll. So right. like I had this like wholesome five-year-old um, Osmond obsession. That's good. Both good and people. And then it went too. downhill from there. Uh, that's all right. It happens to the best of us. Doreen, what about you? Yeah, I'm going to date myself here. The monkeys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Baby hey. John. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. My, I had older brothers. So we had Motown covered and, you know, the Beatles and all that. So the first one I probably bought the album of is The Monkeys. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Now we've all had them growing up and maybe we still do a celebrity crush. The website more asked different celebrities who they had a crush on. Jennifer Lawrence actually said Larry David. Ariana Grande said uh, Jim Carrey. And Meryl Streep said her celebrity crush is Will Farrell. Doreen, who is your celebrity crush? Well, besides you, Will. Well, thank I, you. I appreciate it. You know what? Idris Elba. Okay. Yes. Or Evan Peters. Uh, can I have two? You can have two, sure. Oh, and J Lo. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> There's a lot. Give me my three. Uh, Kristen, how about you? So I love. Clive Owen. Like, I just think he is the coolest, handsomest guy ever. But there's a problem with that because he's super handsome and he's always in these movies where he doesn't look like Clive Owen and it's really annoying. Like, mm. he was in this, like, Spike Lee bank robber movie and they had Clive Owen in a mask for, like, half the movie. And I'm like, this is nuts. And now he's in that Bill Clinton, um, American oh, yeah. whatever. And right. they've got him in, like, Clinton makeup. And I'm like, no, I just want to, if Clive Owen stood there and read me The Cat in the Hat, I'd be like, give him an Oscar. 
But no, they're going to put him in like the Clinton nose with like the bag of McDonald's and Monica with the brand. And it's just, this is wrong. We need to let Clive be Clive. Okay. All right. We will, we will get on that. Matt, who was your celebrity crush? Uh, you know, growing up, it was Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Home Improvement. Sure, sure. That was, yeah. that was a whole moment for me right there. A lot of, <laughs> lot of coming of age moments there. Um, but now I know it's a little controversial, but Army Hammer, uh, I, I am a big fan. But I know there's a lot of stuff with him going on right now. But, you know, yeah. nobody said I wasn't controversial. So. The heart right. wants what it wants, Matt. It does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's true. Uh, folks, thanks for being with us on this, uh, on this Friday morning. Always good catching up with our Roadie Roundup crew.